Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> I used to live in Texas. She said y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Florida originally, from South Florida. And then I moved to Texas and lived in Texas for many years. And I tried my darndest not to say y'all. And finally one day it, it it started coming out of me and I can't help myself And then anymore. you just said darndest. I did. <laughs> it's it's kind of like y'all. Y'all. I love it. Hi guys. Welcome to Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is your friendly neighborhood, Clint Hansen. <laughs> Am I Spider-Man now? Uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. We're here to answer your questions. Also... We're so close to Thanksgiving. How exciting is that? I am so excited. We're so close to pumpkin pie and, uh, and, and cranberry sauce, mm -hmm. which no one actually likes, but we have it on the table and it's so wonderful. And uh, turkey. Ham. Ham. Stuffing. Which do you guys like better? Crescent rolls? Croissant rolls? The same thing. Or like those Hawaiian rolls? Let me know. Comment both. below. Both. You like both? Both. I personally like to have them both on the table too. Oh, and potatoes, mashed potatoes. Sure. All of it. Give me all of it. Anyway, we have an exciting question today from our friend Jody from Iowa. From Iowa. Give Iowa a try. I slip that's from Iowa. So is the music man. <laughs> okay. They have Thanksgiving in Iowa too. <gasps> they do. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know Canada's Thanksgiving's on October 8th? No. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's so early. Yeah. I like it. I think that's right. That's great. I like it. Congratulations, Canada. Our question from Jody is, why don't you guys offer FSBs on Hanson barrels? That's a great question. And on, as a side note, I think we've seen this question from quite a few of you guys before. Um, so yeah, this is a good question. Yeah, I've seen this once or twice. I think I can answer that. Okay. So we got a couple visual aids. <laughs> visual aids. So first and foremost, we don't want you to do it. So that's why we only make the, the, the gas block journal one inch as opposed to 1.9, okay? So let's get that out of the way right now. Mainly because we're concentrating on barrel harmonics with the Hanson, okay? So we want the least amount of interference or anything clamping on it in too large of a location or pinning it or doing something. We want this thing to, to be free to do what it does organically in nature as it's supposed to, as it was designed. All right, two visual aids. Which one do you want to hold? You can hold that one. I don't know. <laughs> I get so, so excited with visual aids. So what Jody's asking is, why don't we put one of these on one of these handsome barrels, okay? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And these are two good examples to explain this as well. Okay. So like I said, an FSB has to go on a journal that's going to be 1.9 inches here, okay? But it's kind of, it's occupying a lot of space, a lot of length on that barrel. It's almost two inches of the barrel. So mm -hmm. in terms of barrel harmonics or barrel whip, it's kind of adding a rigid point, taking away the organic nature of a shoulderless design, okay? This is what you want to use a Hanson barrel for. As it sits in this free float rail, Atlas rail from Aero Precision, on this enhanced upper receiver. These are available at Ballistic Advantage, FYI. This free float rail is shrouding this Hanson barrel and it's all in all of its freedom and floating within we don't want anything interfering with that. So the rail is shrouding it, protecting it. The low profile gas block is there because it's its gas system and it has to be there, but it's only connecting, you know, at a one inch location. So it's minimal. The handsome barrel can be free to do what it does. All right, that's the main reason of why, how we're gonna harness um, energy, the cosmos, to make the handsome barrel work best for you is to not have this FSB. And don't worry, we made it so that you can't put one on it. <laughs> okay. Yes, Sarah. I have a question, Mr. Hanson. Of course you do. Um, um, why don't we offer pistons for the Hanson barrels? It's another question that comes up. It's a good question to ask. Superlative Arms actually makes a piston kit along with their bleed off system that functions in a similar way, but instead of direct impingement or DI with a gas tube, it's actually uh, a piston rod as well connected to the Low Pro. Okay? Mm -hmm. So. Very innovative. There's other companies that make, you know, some form of, of piston kit for the AR. If that's what you like, fantastic, you can do that. We don't recommend it with the Hanson. Kind of same thing as the FSB, only from a different location in terms of how it's compromising the barrel. Now, would it function? Probably. Are you really gonna um, 
use the Hanson in all of its glory the way you should be? Probably not, because your piston rod is going to be basically coming back here, bump it into the carrier key of a BCG. And then right there where that meets, you're kind of you're going to be pushing here with a rod that's connected here to a low pro, and you're going to be pushing downward force in the barrel, kind of taking away from all the organic nature and qualities of the Hanson barrel, so it kind of counteracts it. You know, the Hanson wasn't meant to be used in the piston system. So it's mainly DI. So two things we've learned in this video now, Hanson barrels, no FSBs, and no pistons. But we have a a lot more selections of barrels, which you can feel free to put an FSB or a piston on within the Ballistic Advantage family of barrels. We've got a lot. We've got something for everybody. Yeah. Every gas system, every barrel length, calibers, you guys ask for it, we answer. I'm sorry that we're limiting you on the Hanson, but we really want that one to be near and dear to you for a specific focus. An FSB setup or a piston setup is not really merry with the handsome It wasn't barrel. designed for that. It was not. So, not in a negative way. We just, we're going on this road on that one. Thank you, Clint, for that answer. Thanks so much, Jody, for your question. We loved it. Guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to uh, comment below if you want to see Clint Hansen answer any of your questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. We have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. Yay! And uh, yeah, we cannot wait to see what you send us. Do a close up or a boomerang? <laughs> you killed my leaf. I think that was on camera. <laughs> <laughs>